Hey people, this is Monstad. Welcome back to the Empyrean Iron Man Season 7. This is Episode 2. Last episode, we got through the first day. Um, we have too many difficulties. A bit dodgy with a heat stroke at one point, but not too bad. So I've been pretty busy, and let me just put my drone out to make sure, because that patrol vessel's been hovering around over by that old base recently I don't want to pop my head above the water and get it shot off so what I've done is um, I've buried my core here and using the command connect to base I built a platform over here probably gonna lose connection with my drone here uh, I'm probably a bit too far away from my drone. This is where I'm about to spawn my hover vessel and that is has 40 seconds left and I've built this little shelter for my hover vessel so it can park around the corner. Oops. Yeah, let's move this way. Yeah, so it can park around the corner out of sight so hopefully this area, so if drones are attracted to my base, or the patrol vessel is, I'm hoping that it will target the core, which is buried over there, which should be fairly safe, and ignore this area over here, as long as it doesn't, as long as they don't have line of sight onto anything of interest over here. Let's fill that bit in. Um, So that's my hope. Also, what this does is keeps me out of line of sight from any predators as they will start appearing today. Um, I don't want to get my face eaten by those. So we're not doing too bad on oxygen. Got a decent supply. Food, yeah, we've probably just about got enough to last until we get a harvest module on. Alright, can we do it? Yes, we are ready to spawn this. Before we do that, oh, would you believe it? The patrol vessel is over there. If I spawn this now, it's probably going to attract the attention of the patrol vessel. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, dip down under the water. Um, damn. That's really bad timing. Really bad timing. Is it coming this way? I think it might be. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get into here and get out of sight. Yeah, it's coming, isn't it? Let's get in here. Oh, it's 61 degrees C. Damn it. I'm going to need to... Do you know what I'm going to need to do? Spawn in my hover vessel. Power it up. And back up. Out of sight. At least that way I can um, I can stay in the comfort of my cockpit make sure it doesn't have a line of sight on me don't think he does although he's getting very close
I don't have a lot of power either. Uh, oh, 76 minutes just idling here. Alright, all depends on what's going to happen now. Oh, let's get some food. I can't hear any firing. Let's do me for a little while. Okay, looks like he's moving away again. That was really close. Um, good job I dug this little L shape into this hole here. I did it at the last moment as well. I thought I'll, I'll just do that before I spawn it. And I'd literally just finished it, uh, just before I started recording. <laughs> Had I not done that, I think that probably would have been a little bit disastrous. Oh, mind you, I, could, I probably could have jumped in the hover vessel and escaped. Um, and drawn him away from this area, but he's definitely moving away now. So, let's just... Turn off these thrusters. Stay here for a moment. Um, actually, oh, I didn't bring any. I need. I've got a mobile constructor in this. Um, I need to build an assault rifle. I need the the harvest module. I've unlocked the harvest module, and the harvest box so I can craft those I should be able to craft those and get them on um, do you know what? I'll leave that in my survival constructor that survival constructor can construct stone blocks that way I'm not wasting power in my um, in my hover vessel that was really close. All right, it looks like he's moving away now. So let's just jump out, get my drone, and have a little look. Yeah, he's moving away. Not far enough away yet, though, I don't think. If I came out now, he'd probably spot me. Let's just get back in here and stay cool for a minute. Oh, and outside temperature is 44 degrees. Actually, we should be fine. Yep, in my comfort zone, which is good. That was close. That was really close. Wow. <laughs> and it's lucky I built this big enough to fit as well. I had to guess at the size and... Yeah, it was just about right. Okay, I need to get down to my survival structure constructor so I can get some resources to bring to my uh, vessel here. Before I do that, I need to make a spot for my harvest module box and I'll pop it at the back of my other cargo mod. Oh! Yeah, they spawn with. Sometimes these things spawn with things in the cargo boxes, which yeah, I'm not really keen on. I wish it wouldn't do that. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, I built myself a multi-tool um, and an ore scanner, so I can start getting some proper resources soon. In the meantime, let's. I think we might be all right now. Let's get straight under the water, outside. Get over here, grab some resources from my survival constructor. Craft the harvest module, then we can get out of here and actually get start gathering some proper resources. Good. Plenty of oxygen for the time being. And plenty of water. 
bit more power ready to go um, I think we'll do a bit more auction ready for when we get back bar fuel good 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 now we'll leave the stone in here um, I'll take some of this with me so that I can craft better leave some iron ingots in there don't leave too many so I can craft the O2 bottles I just need a steel plate okay good don't need the silicon in there uh, I'll take the wood cobalt promethium I think the rest can stay in here yeah I think so yeah everything else can stay now let's get my drone out make sure Oh boy, oh there's not on his way back. Okay, looks like danger's passed. Good. Told you this lake, it is this lake is a lifesaver on Omicron. Uh, whichever Omicron map you play on, whether it's the other planet or this planet, the lake is key to survival, especially on hard mode. Whee! light on okay so let's craft let's get this stuff in here um, just pop that in there for now I was leaving my motorbike in there as well oh no actually they can go in the cargo box so what do I want to craft I want to craft that and I want to craft that um, what else do we need desperately? An assault rifle. I would normally go to the trading station and buy weapons and tools and lots of equipment. But being on hard mode, the chances are is the um, trading station will be being camped by one or two drones. So I don't really want to risk that. When I get an SV, what I'll probably do is head up to the trading station in orbit and then teleport down to the trading station on the surface. That way I can actually check it out safely as well. Um, it does mean it's a bit longer before I get to do the stuff I want to do in there. Um, I should probably craft myself some bullets as well, shouldn't I? Copper. Four copper ingots. That's such a lot. I need them though. So let's just go for 500 rounds for now. Okay, coolio. Cargo box, let's put those into there. I'm going to keep those on me just in case I do get bitten. And we need to put a bit more fuel. Let's just fill it up then. Good. Okay, we're in a stronger position now. Let's get a shot of O2. A few corn on the cob. And then as soon as this harvest module is ready, we'll go out, get some XP, lots of XP. Harvest some meat and we can get a supply of food going. Um, I don't have a fridge. Oops, I don't have a fridge on this because it's a fairly cheap basic hover vessel. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's nearly night time. It took almost all day for that hover vessel to um, finish in the factory. Again, hard mode. It takes so much longer for things to. To, uh, to happen. Uh, I could do with just covering that over. So I've got to 
good ingress into here from the water with my hover vessel, which is great. It fits, which is the most important thing. Um, how are we going with this construction? Oh, sometimes you just need to nudge things along a little bit. Come on, come on. I really need to get this finished. Um, do you know, I don't think I've even loaded my <coughs> pistol. It wouldn't be much good though. 40 rounds pistol ammunition wouldn't last long. Right, I need to get some food. So we're not doing too badly with O2 at the moment. <clears throat> the food is the, the next vital thing. And getting levels up to level 7. Once we get to level 7 we can build ourselves a <clears throat> an SV. Um, I've got a couple of combat SVs that I could spawn in but it requires a bit of Sathium as well and I'm not going to get that until I start looting POIs. It looks like the patrol vessel is coming back again. Damn. Okay well hopefully it'll bypass us once more. We'll, we'll now see just how effective this is, whether it works. Patrol S easy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I suppose easy if you're coming up against it with another capital vessel or a combat SV with hardened steel plate all over it. But in my tiny little hover vessel that's unarmed and lightly armoured, not so easy. Yeah, so I hope you've been checking out the other uh, competitors' YouTube channels. Um, there should be quite a lot of videos being put out by now. I'm probably a day or so late getting the videos out behind other people. Um, yesterday was Sunday for me, and I was out all day, so I couldn't really do any. So I've been trying to catch up with a bit of gameplay, get myself sorted. Oh, that patrol vessel's loud as it's coming over. Okay, it's the moment of truth. It'll either bypass or it'll take that wooden roof apart very quickly and it will be game over for me. Well, again, I can't hear any weapons firing. I'm really anxious right now. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> if if you could hear sweat, it would be really loud right now. And what makes it worse is that, you know, I know that it's a permadeath competition. If I die, I'm out. And that patrol vessel makes me really, really nervous. Yeah, so I've got a lot of gameplay to make up. Um, over the next day or so before Wednesday when we have to post a video of us completing our mission, our weekly mission which is to take out the radar station wherever that is. I'm not sure where it is. Mm. I don't have lights on this either. Can I unlock a spotlight I wonder? Spotlight, spotlight. No, I need to be level 5 for a spotlight. Why do you need to be level 5 for a spotlight? You can make a generator, fuel tank, O2 tanks, a Gatling gun, a harvest module, ventilators, but you can't make a spotlight until you're level 5. Oh well. I don't have any night vision goggles either, which is going to make going out at night time a little bit more interesting. However, I don't really have a lot of choice because I need to sort out this food situation. Um, yeah. I mean, I have one ration pack left. I mean, I... 
realistically I probably could last until daylight before I start going out um, or I could just scout the local area and try and take out a few critters get a bit of meat and a bit of XP I don't like sitting around because it it's continually taking O2 down and it, it's just a waste of time and I don't like wasting time need to be doing something survival rules secure food water shelter and then after that improve your situation daily and that's what I aim to do so where's that patrol vessel now it looks like Oh, he's out of range anyway. The red dot's gone. Um, so, let's see. My construction should be done by now. Oh, a proper weapon. A proper weapon. Don't have a lot of ammunition though, but... Still... Yeah, and it's really eating into my resources as well. Okay. Okay, well, I might as well get this loaded. Might as well load my pistol. Can that critter see me? I don't know what that sound is. I'm not too familiar with the sounds of the Omicron critters. Um, it's definitely not one of those sandworms. I don't think it's a insect. Wrong button. Okay, we're going to have to go out. All right, let's let's bite the bullet and get to it. If I can see. Okay, should be enough light. Can't see a thing. That's the problem. Oh, do you know what? I didn't put the um, harvest module on. That's okay. As long as the patrol vessel isn't going to come. Oh, he's over there. Let's get away from him a little bit. Um, and I can do. Should be able to do this over the water. Okay. We should be good there. Now, I jump out. I should be able to sit on top of this. Pop the light on. Get my drone. And make sure I can see everything. Get those down here. Okay. Pop that on the front this on the back and then we are good regarding that now which way do we go the patrol vessel so that way so we're definitely not going to go back that way um, this looks like a fairly flat area over here or well, there's this over here yeah, the patrol vessel could be going around there, couldn't it? I'm going to head this way. Let's put a map marker there. Okay, good. Let's head this way. And let's... Oh, there's a POI over there. 
That looks like the abandoned factory. Looking at the shape of it. Oh, it's really dark now. Or is the sun just about to come up? No, it's really dark now. Ah, it's not going to work, is it? It's just too dark. I don't think I'm going to have much choice but to wait till morning. I'm going to have to eat my ration pack. This hover vessel is O2 capable, but um, I don't have the O2 to put in at the moment. Oh, I can't see the trees. I can't see the trees. I'm getting stuck. Try and get a bit closer and just identify this. It will give me experience as well, which is good. That's Promethean deposit. Unguarded Promethean deposit. Yeah, abandoned factory. It looks like a couple of drones. Okay. Hmm. Let's go into my constructor again. Good. Um, I'm going to make some more of those. Now what I do want to make is another base starter kit. Um, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to try and build a decoy base near the old base. Now I've tried this in a playthrough on a, a Acura that I did once, but um, what on earth is that? But I'm not sure if it worked because I built like a decoy base, powered it and put weapons on it as well. So, and also I identified where the drone base was before I'd built it. Uh, how far am I? Am I that? Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and I placed the decoy base directly between my permanent base and the drone base. So I'm not sure whether the drones were attracted to the decoy base. And I built that first and powered it before I built my permanent base. I'm not sure whether they were attracted to the decoy base or whether they were just shot down on their way over it. So I'm going to try it in this one. I mean, I don't know where the drone base is with this one. It's like an indestructible rock. There we go. I'm not going to get any closer than that, I don't think. Yeah, so I'm going to try it with this one and build like a decoy base by the old base. Now, if I'm right in thinking, once you put a power source down, you don't actually have to power the base on, but if, as soon as you put a power source on, whether that is a, uh, a generator, a fuel tank, or a capacitor, it starts attracting... Uh, it will start attracting attacks from the drones. How do I get through this field? I'm going to have to go around it, aren't I? Or just chop down the trees. So my intention is... So that's why I didn't put any power generation next to that core that I put down um, over where I am at the moment. So what I'll do is I'm going to multi-tool down the capacitor and the solar panel from the old base and add it to a core that I'm going to bury nearby the old base and see if that starts attracting 
drone attacks. Now we can get some XP and some meat. There we go, 520 XP. Let's raise it up a bit before I get out. Use my drone, but let's keep an eye out for things. And hopefully... Come on. Yes, some meat. So, patrol vessel anywhere around? Doesn't look so look like it at the moment. Yeah, so I want to build a decoy base. That's what I hope will happen. I'm, I'm hoping that that will start attracting drone attacks. And then when I power my main base... They will ignore it. That's the theory. Whether it works in practice, I don't know. So the trick with this is to gradually move back at the same pace as they're moving forward. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. And they'll mince themselves on the grinder. However, you've got to be a little bit careful because they can actually hit you through the cockpit. So you can still get damaged. Oh, two meat on that one. Beautiful. Any more around? I can see really well from the drone, but I can't see for crap when I'm in the cockpit. What I really want are some golems, because you'll get some rare resources from those as well. Hmm. Okay, so it works. It's proven. I've got some food from it, and now I'm going to head back and call it an episode there. Um, we're in a better position now much better. Hopefully that patrol vessel won't be there. Yeah, looks... Oh no, he's over there. I better get in quick or he's going to come back. Yeah, we're in a much stronger position now that we've got the hover vessel and now that we've got the, the harvest module on the front, it means we can harvest stuff without having to get out of the safety of the cockpit. Let's get in here before... Oh, I can see spiders over there as well. Joy. Okay, I need to be able to get around this corner. I'm stuck. Oh no, please don't let me get stuck. Right, can we reverse in? That's why I need lights. I can't see. I'm all over the place. I need a light on this desperately. That patrol vessel is going to come back and I'm going to get stung. Spiders! Right, that's the back of the... Oh, why do I keep getting turned around? I need to increase the size of this at some point. I'm not careful that patrol vessel is going to come back. Do you know what I need to do? I need to make a light, don't I? Keep an eye out for the patrol vessel. I 
Doesn't seem to be coming back. Loads of critters over there now. Okay, come on, is that light ready? Yes. Oh, I don't have power, do I? Do you know what? I'm going to take that off. Am I getting caught on that? Is that what it is? Can I build a flare? Okay, I think I'm in. No, I'm not. going to do it's just lock myself in so why can't I come forward then I don't make a hole there. Come in enough now. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Mm. I could always block it off if the patrol vessel comes back so it can't see me. Anyway, I'm going to call an episode there. Um, and next time I come on, it will be daylight. We'll be able to see what we're doing. So the mission, first mission for the next episode will be to get up to that old base. Hopefully the patrol vessel won't be there. And um, build that decoy base, power it, and then hopefully I can power this one without being attacked too many, off, too, too many times and too often. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other competitors' videos. And please subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest Empyrean Iron Man Season 7 episodes. And I'll see you later. One thing I forgot to do is show my stats. So, yeah. No deaths as yet. And hopefully we can keep it that way. So, later.